I'm back in my little sunny corner here. It's, uh, it's getting late. What is it? It's almost four. I got a little time before I got some other stuff to do. This is that gnarly pad. I, I fixed it a little bit. I'm not going to recover it. It's too, just too weird. So, uh, uh, I think I left those springs in there. And if I, I don't remember, don't matter. Okay, uh, ooh, look in there. It's all foamy. Foamy! Yeah, I was right. I did have some mink oil. That's some old stuff, but some old mink, I guess. So, uh, let's see what this stuff looks like. I am probably going to go ahead and, uh, sandblast it. And, uh, eh, yeah, let's sandblast these things. Uh, like I say, maybe I won't sandblast those. Because I'm afraid of that. This stuff's just too light. Uh, okay. Let's lay out our merchandise here. So we got that. This is definitely going to get sandblasted and powder coated. So that's on the definite list. Get an idea of what this stuff looks like. We won't sandblast these. I just wanted to clean those. Uh, these, yes, that's sandblasting. Uh, this little stuff, I'll have to think about that. I, I am going to powder coat them because I just want those to look good. So there's some hardware in there I got to do. Stuff, I got this thing apart. That little spring mechanism, that's definitely going to get sandblasted. And oh, do I got a container over here? Uh, what you want here, you want to put it, uh, I think that'll be okay. So I'm going to put this, you got to put this stuff in the sandblaster and you don't want to drop them. So I think I'll, I might just shoot some, I think I got some clear gloss over here. You don't have to powder coat every little tiny thing. And yeah, I got this stuff, so. It's so cold, it's probably uh, not worthy, worthy to do. Okay. There's supposed to be four of these. Oh, and I gotta get the old metal polishing. There's supposed to be four of those. There's that funky rod. Uh oh. I must have lost one. I didn't mean to lose one. Maybe it's down in the thing. This, I probably, I had an idea about this paper thing. Uh, if I got some stuff up here, see, I might can cut this down and put some kind of paper on there. I thought that was a pretty funny idea. So, I see no reason to, uh, to powder coat that. Put another little screw go, dadgum it. And, uh, there's that thing. That can get powder coated pretty much cleanly. Let's see, that'll go there. It might have fallen through and hit the bottom. Now that's going to be a metal polish. Uh, that's going to be sandblasted and powder coated. So, uh, yeah, we'll get that shiny. Let's see if I got, uh, I'll put this here. Well, let's get my... There it is. Well, that was lucky. Found it. Okay. All right, that goes in the... I got the sandbox ready ready for action here. So, this whole thing, it's, uh, it's a mess, but it'll work. So, let's uh, get something else. All right, well, I'm going to... You'll see what it looks like here in a minute. Right before we powder coat it, let's put this back on there because I heated that up. Okay, we'll turn that off. Okay, off, and there's a switch back here if you didn't know it. Okay. Okay, things are moving along fine here. I found this. I think I've had that since I was like 14. And I've already kind of worked on this a little bit. Uh, and kind of got it looking a little better. And I know there's lots of schools of thought about this and uh, about cleaning stuff like this, but I've got this polishing. Ooh, what's the matter here? I got this polishing wheel and I got 
this rouge and uh, one is white the white stuff oh, homegrown tomatoes and then uh, the white is for finishing so let's uh let's see what I can get this to look like here where's my head keeps over there you got to wear full face on a grinder it's just a you can see better B you just don't end up with projectiles in your skull sure can look at that can't you let's go over here my gosh oh my gosh it's beautiful it's unbelievably beautiful someone's out here blowing a horn and stuff on hook let me turn the uh I guess I'll leave the outside lights on because I might go out there. Yeah, that's my... Ooh, pretty back here. Even. So let me show you what I got going. It's been a good and long time of prep here of all these parts. So they've been uh, blown and everything. Let's go look at this thing. I forgot about this thing. I just sprayed this with some clear. I'm not going to clear coat it. I don't see any reason in it. But that turned out pretty good. I'm kind of I'm kind of okay with it would focus. Oh, come on. There you go. So, there's that. So, that's buffed out. I mean, I, you know, I want it to look as good as possible. And there's a P right there, but the pater part, boy, that was really corroded. So, that was really strange. So, this is stuff I, I'm going to powder coat this bronze or copper or something. I don't know. So, in here is the, the dangly bits. They have not been powder coated yet. But they are just, uh, they're just warming up. I think I got some bronze down here. Yeah, I think I see some copper or bronze. Or I think there's a high gloss, but there's my copper. And I think that's good enough. I got gold. That'd be a little garish, don't you think? So we'll use that for, for that one part there. So, uh, yeah, this ends up being a big messy task. Yeah, that's pretty... Yeah, it's a little messy, but that's okay. I mean, I, you know, it's not going to be perfect. It's 100 years old. So, and I'm not going to powder coat that little deal there. i got to go look at my pictures when I put all this back together again. So, uh, there's all my little powder coating bits. Oh, let's leave that open. So, this thing did real good today. Uh, I do, I do. Oops, let me get my thing over there. You know. I wonder if that cleaned that out. I just was wondering. I might go blow that out and see if that loosened it up. So, kind of wish I had that back up at the house, but it's, in, it's serving me well. Uh, guess I can get another one. Too. Okay, so we got my powder coat box ready. I got the uh, chrome in there. I got my 10,000 volts ready to go. And I think I'm just going to cut to the chase here and and uh, just show you what it looks like in the end. I brought my FLIR down here. Though. What did I bring? Oh, I was checking. I didn't think my. Ultrasonic was heating up, but it was. So, all good there. Well, let's take a peek. It's been a long time. It's dark outside now. And uh, these are only like 400 degrees. So, there's that. Uh, can't hardly tell anything about it, can you? Well, you can there. So, that's uh, copper. And uh, I'll lay it all out here in a minute. And then let's just pull one of these out. It don't burn you long because the wire's so it's so cold. So there's what the whoa! Check those out. Now the hard part's gonna be getting them springs back in there. Let me tell you. Okay, let me get it laid out and we'll talk about that in a second. Okay, I'm, this is it for tonight. I, I might post this soon and then because I don't want these things getting too long. So there you go. Uh, I just did what I could. So the way these things go, we already know this, is, uh, you know, these rods go. I'll have to look and see. But, you know, it's going to look, you know, something like that. But look how beautiful that is. So uh, I got to go make, I probably just need to make a diagram. But, you know, I don't know how far to go with the silver or, you know, how far to go down before it starts getting in the way powder coating's kind of thick and so that looks a lot better and that looks a ton better too and uh, 
So I just got to kind of, I got to put that slidey mechanism back in there. That one was really challenged, the slidey pin, because it, uh, I don't, I'm, I probably will have to remove some of that. But once I get it all back together, I can just get some silver paint and just touch it up. Look how good those turned out. So, uh, I guess the music might be too loud, but I kind of wanted to see how this is going to look. Come on, get in there. So that's the way that's gonna look. And that's pretty groovy right there. So, uh, okay. And uh, that's gonna, that's just gonna be fine like that. And there's what the copper ends up looking at. That's like to hone the uh, horse I did for Sean's truck on the, uh, you know, like Victory on the Rolls Royce, you know. So that's that looks a lot better. I look at it focusing, what's wrong? What's wrong? And uh, so that's that's pretty okay there. So, uh, one of the things I'm worried about is, you know, these springs hook on, on right here. And these, I worked on this pretty hard. I glued, glued it down, tried to lessen that right there a little bit. And, uh, but the springs are in there. You can, you can see that one in there. And that's going to be the devil to get the hook back up again. I don't know how they would do this on them. Of course, I wonder about that on a lot of things. So, I got another idea. And I'll, I'll show you that now. We'll get into that tomorrow. And then uh, around the seat, uh, the big heavy seat that I was covered with spider eggs. And uh, But anyway, we'll get them here pretty soon. I'm going to take out all of these things all the way around here. See all the spider eggs? I'm going to vacuum all that up. Now, what's that called? That's called cambric. Cambric, right? Dust cover, cambric. So, uh, but anyway, I'm going to pull these out, every other one, and I'm going to clean them and powder coat, coat them gold. And I think that's going to look cool. Because uh, that's about probably the color they were. So, uh, that's got a little hook in it. So, I don't know. Must have hit. There you go. So, I'm, that's going to take forever to do that. <laughs> and I can't wait to do it. So, there she is. And then I still got to go in there and do some welding. I, I can't wait to see how this thing comes apart. So uh, I've never had it completely apart. So that's that's what I'm going for there. Okay, so I guess what I'll do is I'll wait till tomorrow, reassemble this thing, and then I'll, I'll post it after I get it reassembled, and you can see what it looks like. And uh, so I made all my notes about this. It's a pretty obvious way that goes. But... Uh, so you can't get the powder coat in some in, in this stuff uh, because it's just it, it, it just takes up too much room. So uh, it's inflate there. Okay, so let's just wait till tomorrow. I'll put it. I'll put this together tomorrow, and then we'll have a bright, beautiful, sunny day. Okay, later. I came out here and I couldn't figure out where the beautiful glow was coming from, and uh, now I know. There's. Can you see it? Look at that. Let me see if I can get in a better spot. I can't see my bridge or nothing. I just had a bunch of big LED lights in my eyes. I'm a little... But look at that baby there. That is unbelievably beautiful. I get... Uh... Why does this thing do this to me? Okay, that is all the way in. I don't get to see that because my window faces this way. I get to see moon sets, but not not moon rises, so there's there's the house, but you can't see it, but it's right there, and uh, there you go, we can see it now, not, not so much, huh, so that's what it's like out here, it's pretty quiet, I gotta, I like to fill in this, or I trench to put water down to the barn, I wish they would not have hit my pipe a long time ago, but uh, it's kind of a, got a little rut there, fill it with sand or something, I had a bunch of sand, but uh, this is a long trenchway. Jeez, look at that. It's beautiful. See, I just tipped in the ditch. Uh, okay, so that's what it's like. There's house. Ooh, I make a scary noise. And that's a scary noise. Yeah. 
Okay, turn the water off to the barn. Let's go in. Okay. Whoop. And that thing. Sometimes you crank up this camera and it goes to to zoom. It zooms all the way in. Wish it didn't do that. Mm-hmm. Well, let's see here. Uh, what's all that stuff? What's in there? Who knows? I do knows. Oh, let's go here. So, do you say, is it daybreak or nightbreak? They don't ever say nightbreak, do they? Well, I don't know. I used to wonder things like that. You know, phraseology and semantics. Click, click, there it goes. Okay, so it's sometimes on an evening. It's, uh, can't stand it anymore. I gotta figure this out. I know I took it apart, and I know I gotta put it together, but I wanna find out how. Ah, that smell, it's dissipating. So, it's a beautiful, cool evening. Uh, let's turn the lights on. Want to? All right, them and them. Now I'm going to show you what this does in a minute. I just want to get this off my mind. And then... Uh, so I was going to show you. I'm going to have to treat this thing. This is a leather strop that I... Ooh, torn right there. Too bad. You know it has the, the two places. You can put your thumb in there. Or your fingers. I don't know. You can put your thumb in there if you want to. And uh, whew, I didn't realize it was so torn. And this is where you sharpen this. Whoever he was. And... Uh, Optician and jeweler. Oh, I must have dropped that on the way. Damn it, I gotta go find that. Oh, wasn't thinking. Okay, found it. So, uh, I made my diagrams about the way this barber chair works. I'm gonna try to show detail on this thing. So, there you go. When was the last time you saw that? See Jimmy Stewart getting shaved in some some man or but you know what you did was you sharpen the boy that thing still whoa I think you could still shake well it looks a little brutal but what you did was once you sharpen it on a whetstone you go back and forth on the strop and that is an actual my guess is hundred year old thing and so what you do is this goes in here. That's why it slipped out. I thought it held in there a little tighter. Maybe it did at one point. And then that goes in there. Thusly. That's why it fell out so easy. So the leather strap. It's very late and I'm very, very tired. Just got to do this. I've got to try. So there's the chair. Can't believe you can see it so well. In this... Uh, I believe it to be great light. It's like I told you the other day, there's this little ring right here. And so you take this, and they make these things, they're called double cuffs. It's the way I've always heard it said. And so you don't really need to have a locking me mechanism because they lock. They, they, they interlock. So you push them in together, and then it's locked. See? And this is where you go back and forth where you strop. Now, you'll, you, <laughs> I don't know. Nobody knows this anymore. See, this, this is the skin side, the hair side of the leather. And this is the inside of a piece of leather. So, see, that side, these sides are smooth. So, this side is rough. Okay, you with me on this? This is where the blood is. This is more coarse. So you would take your, your, your razor and you would go back and forth on the core side. And that's why this rotates. <laughs> okay, odd facts known by few. And then the smoother side gives you that really, truly razor sharp 
right here. Knocks all the rolls off the end of the, uh, the blade. So this is the inside, and it, God knows, you know, who came up with that in 17-something. But that's the reason this is all designed like it is. And it hooks there, rotates, swings, and so when the barber was getting ready to shave you, he'd give it that little bit extra to make sure he, when he cut your jugular, it was cut clean through. No, that... I have been shaved that way around my ears when I was a little boy with those uh, with th this uh, razor, and let me tell you, it makes a funny noise in your skull. It's just it's, it's like, and uh, but anyway, there it is, and that's why they have that little finger trigger there. So you pull this out and you pull that out like that, and then you have to have a technique on holding it. This gives you a fulcrum on the other side, so you can, you know, when, when you shave someone, <laughs> that's the way you do it. That's why you have to have a little dexterity in your hands. So you're wondering what all the scribbling is here, right? Oh, i got to get the Gorilla Glue because I have to fix an old table I made years ago. I do not want to forget to do that. Uh, I guess I might have packed it already. Oh, uh, guess I did. Oh, no, that's zinc. I'm real worried about this table. I, I made this uh, coffee table years ago. And I never really attached the top of it very well, but I want to do that. So this is the diagram uh, here of the way to assemble the head rift and uh, I guess I'm gonna just do it little bits by bits and I'll show you as we goes up well I didn't uh, I didn't think this was gonna work these are angels and uh, nobody wants them so what they used to do there's a little electric motor in here and they used to flap the wings you know it's, it's like Napoleon Dynamite Okay, and uh, nobody wants it anymore. And there's one of its broken wings and the other broken wings and all that stuff. So you know what this is, don't you? It's a fallen angel. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't help. You know, there is one. It's called Satan. And, uh, you know, that's uh, there, there's a thing in that. So these are going to the recycle bin. I don't know. I guess, I guess I've gotten uh, a good number of years out of them. Redone them a few times. They're, they've been redone. Oh, they're gonna be redone. So just made a little, little. It's not really a joke because it's the basis of of humanity, the falling angel. You can pick your angel up. See, put it right back the way it should belong. There's a lesson in there somewhere. Don't let your angels fall. So, first thing you got to do is put this back together. Let me put my screen over here so I can see what you see. Okay, see that? Ugh, not really, huh? I'm trying. Uh, I didn't mean for it to go all the way there. Whoa, foci. So, there's the little pin. See the little pin right there? The spring, you gotta go with it this way. And then you got your little thumb catcher here. And there's your lock mechanism that goes into them little holes right there. There you go. Okay. What? When it focuses, it means it means it well. So there you go. So I'm not, I was gonna make another uh, pen, but I don't think that I need to. I may put a little drop of super glue right it's almost part of the production in it getting it to foci so there there's that little bit right there and uh, oh, let's, let's take this put it on the grandpa setting 
And so you can put it, see. <laughs> so put it there and there and squeeze it in. And that's probably good enough considering I'm not, I'm not going to be cutting anybody's hair <laughs> unless, you, unless you want to become you know, blind in one eye. So I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so let's keep going. That's step one. Unbelievably, unbelievably beautiful. I'm not talking about what I did. I'm talking about just the design. It, as I say most of the time, it's not that I designed or built or conceived of. It's that every now and then I, uh, I'm able to rebuild it and make it what it once was. Okay. Okay, so we're beginning the assembly. So I've got the little thumb wheel. This is where the plate's going to go. And I've got the first rod here. And so here's the second rod, which I believe goes here. And then that would leave... Oh, oh, see? How did they do this stuff in production? Oh, oh everything's, everything's going wrong. Well, let's show how everything goes wrong. It's all gone. It's all gone south on me. All right. So that. Well, let me do a little. <laughs> let me do a little bit of assembly, and then we'll talk. We'll speak of this no further until until later. Well, wait a minute. That's going pretty good. Okay. So there's that, and then there's this because we got to remember. Little ta the little uh, thing that holds the uh, sanitary paper goes there. Okay, so uh, I've thought about this in great detail. Imagine that. And uh, so that goes there. There's a little bit of glue left over from the foil tape. And then you're kind of going to kind of work that together. Okay, that looks pretty good. So what I think the thing to do here is, and then uh, my guess is that that goes like this to keep it on the down low. Yeah, see like that? Oh, and then when you put that in there, That'll aid you in assembling it. See, now it's spring-loaded and tight. Now, not so tight that you can't do something else. Okay, yeah, that, that, feels, that feels pretty good there. Now, if I have to, I can put a little brake clean in there. Because uh, the thing, as opposed to paint, powder coat is somewhat impervious to uh, brake clean. So, uh so now we got this and those have the little screws in them so once you get this going in there does it go this way or that way I think maybe this way yeah uh, don't tell me they're so smart they had it keyed oh they do they had it so keyed and then you get this screw, which has like a cheese head on it, that's actually what it's called a cheese head. And we're going to loosely fit that. Oh, something outside. I don't think I'm in danger. And then you'll put that in there like that. Well, I can't believe even that is key. These, these guys don't think you're so smart. You couldn't be smart without standing on the shoulders of millions of men and women that came before us. I'm not talking about I'm not talking about Herodotus or Archimedes or you know they had people they built off. To, look at that. We're getting there. Oop! It goes. You'll go this way when the time comes. Maybe. No, I 
don't know what other, other way you would do it. Is that in there correctly? Hmm. It doesn't seem like it. I believe it goes 180 degrees out. Let's find out. Let's loosen these up a little bit. I tried to look at my videos and be as fastidious as I could be. Yeah, that was inside of there. That's right. Okay, well let me let me take care of that. Ooh. Okay, so I got that out. Yeah, I remember that now. You just look at it and study it over and over so it goes the other way. So that means this hooks in the other way. So it goes uh, this way. I know, I know you can't see what I'm doing, but okay, it go. Oh, we gotta go at it that way to get this in here. I remember that now. Let's see if we can get this spring on here. This is kind of your real time. It's uh, you know, it's a pain in the tail kind of thing, and you gotta love it, love it, and be it. So you gotta get that in there, like get in there. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Now we're gumping it. Now, I did think about... Uh, let me get that spring in there a little bit better. And I think I've got that spring going. Does it go the other way? Does it really matter anymore, I guess is the question. I don't know. Um, let's pull this out and go edit the other way. You just kind of get a feel for things after a while. And uh, I'm always wondering if you can see what I'm doing. And I think that spring goes that way. Yeah, that's gonna that's got a better feel to it. And uh mm, 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 mm. I'm trying and I'm trying not to knock the camera over. God bless. God bless them. Individually. Maybe I can attack it from this way and get it to hook in there. It's just a mess. Let's try it. Three, two, one. Let's try it the other way. You can't. There's moth outside. Okay, so we got that going in there. I can do this with my fingers now that I've got got the other end correct. There you go. All right, so whew, there you go. That's what you're going for right there. So that stay rod, that stay rod. Uh, we can tighten these up a little tiny bit. And then that pin is there. So what you would do at this point is there are five springs. One, two, three, four, five, six, six springs. So go ahead and put these on, and you got to put them this side down or up. I'm sorry, because you want it to rest upon that pad. Oh, and then there's that one. 
and then there's that one. The tr thing is going to be getting the silly pad on there to begin with. Arr, okay, so there you go. And that's the spring when you put your head back. That's why it feels soft. It's uh, that way. And that goes that way. And then that way. Fascinating as hell. I mean, how would you come up with this out of the... Now, the thing is, i got to get those other two springs that are in here and put them on there. Uh, that's probably going to take me quite a while. Th this actually all makes me, almost makes me feel somewhat... Oops, somewhat relaxed just having it that far along. Kind of running on fumes here, gang. So, uh, but I wanted I wanted to go to sleep tonight, at least seeing this much of this done. So, uh, uh, this that is the. Uh, oh, I'm not going to put that on there because it's just too flipping heavy. But it does go this way. I do remember that from my. Uh, other footage. Maybe it make it a little easier to uh, to deal with. Let's let's just now. How many times do you think the barber adjusted this part of the headrest? My guess is zero. So you got this. Oh. A shrink tube. Use that. So you got this fancy screw here, threads here, and uh, that goes in there. And I'm just going to lightly put that in there. Well, I don't know. Do I have another? Yeah, it might make it a little easier to deal with. And it's crawling in there. Okay, that's good enough for now. And then that goes... Care of what you got, my boss, to me. Okay, so there you go. Wow, amazing. Okay, uh, I don't think I want to put this on until I get the cover on it. I believe between the four springs and the other bits here. That, I don't know, it's probably 6 o'clock now. I would say, ooh, by 9 o'clock I'll have that on. Those springs being internalized in there. I have an idea. I got some dental tools. Shh, that's just really beautiful. Okay, so we'll uh, stop now. And we will uh, see about getting that on. And then I'll put the plate on. Then we'll call this video done. It's an institution show. I wasn't going to tell you what I'm going to do, but I'm going to tell you. So, in this, these springs are internal. A uh, spring is internal. And I got them out. Ugh. And I sort of gave them a little springy, springy to give me a little something to work with. And I'm going just to kind of lengthen them. See how they're a little bit stretched out right there? So, you you got to do this with... with with, with care so I'm gonna try so they go in here and I'm gonna hope that it's gonna poke out the other end and you know what are we what are we gonna do this we're gonna cut hair with this thing so I'm, I'm gonna stretch them a little bit more mm. all right so 
right, let's try. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Just, I'll let you know. <laughs> okay, so I got one side hooked on, and down in here, there is a. Well, there's that one. Okay, and it's not so tense anymore. Oh. These tools are just not quite big enough. Roll that down in there. So I got that one, and I got it with this big screwdriver. Well, it's going to stay there. I had no idea. Look at that. Oh, I'm not going to do it. <sighs> I did it. So there's one. Whew, I don't know. Short, but not too big around. It's amazing the things keep you up at night, isn't it? I think I think I see it and if I get this done oh look at that I, there it is right there got the end of it right there it's not the way I want it to go oh so consarn it dead gum it and it just goes way on back down in there. I thought I had it. It's actually closer than I think it is. It's right there. Look. Oh. Is that it? Is that it? Click. Go click for me. Well, it didn't go click, but ladies and gentlemen, that's it right there. And then this will go. Oh, I got more to do. Then that goes right there on my frame. Enough. And then uh, there's this. And then two, three, four, five, six hooked in. And uh, hooked. I didn't think that was going to be so easy because it wasn't. Okay. Don't think it hasn't been fun because it hasn't. Now, who sits there like that? Uh, maybe, uh, maybe Jimmy Stewart. Okay. Perfection. Now, see, I can get a little bit of... If I felt like it, and I don't, I could get some silver paint and touch that up if I felt like it, but I don't. So now the, the crowning touch. See, I got most of that polished out of there where I hit it with a Dremel, but, you know, it's either hit it with a Dremel or, you know, failure. Okay, uh, where's my other little, there it is. And then we're going to go to the main body tomorrow. Whew. What I mean is, for the first time in probably 50, 60, 70 years, I'm hoping to make the, uh, the base pump up like we all remember. Well, maybe not all of us. This is it. There's something about powder coating that if you use the foil tape with the glue on it, it acts sort of like Loctite. And uh, there you go. And that is it. I wonder what caused that big, huge green. If you look back on the video, you'll see there's a big, huge green 
piece of rot there. I had to dig it out of there with an X-Acto knife and and everything else. And, and then I had to get the polish and the polishing wheel and everything else. So that's going to be, let's see where the, where the edges end up, because that kind of matters. Okay. You want it to look, you know, even, right? Y'all were just thinking that, weren't you? So, I don't mind coming off of that a little bit. Okay. So, there it is. I thought that was going <laughs> to... I really thought that was going to take 20 minutes. It has taken me two days. I can't be happier. And... What do you do with this? Maybe some, uh, hey, you know what I got? Hey, wait, 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 wait for it. I got this. <sighs> Hadn't even touched. This works good on uh, black bumpers of 1970s and 80s vehicles. So you get this on your finger. So if anybody sits there. <laughs> Whoa! And I didn't hardly get any. Too hungry. Four dinner. If you ever get a chance to see a, a Frank Sinatra movie called Pal Joy. Uh, it's kind of brutal to watch and I don't think it's going to play in Peoria anymore but uh, wow uh, there's a there's a reason for this song that's why the lady is a tramp okay. a dinosaur among dinosaurs I am okay we're going to pull those uh, pins out tomorrow on uh, there you go. Maybe Mick will come up in his white suit like he does sometimes when he's doing disco uh, things. He's, Mick has that disco ball and I don't ever mess with any of that. It kind of makes me afraid. So maybe he comes up in his uh, John Revolta dance femur thing. I'll make him sit here and stain it all up. This has carnauba in it. I don't know. The, the one thing that I don't know what to do with this thing is where to put it. Wow! And I believe this stuff does dry. Alright, well that's going to be it. So when I wake up in the morning, well, which would be like 2 in the afternoon anymore, I will be completely happy with all <laughs> I can't believe how well some dude in 1921 was that was an amazing thing to have you gotta remember Wilson was president back then uh, the beginning of the end I promised myself not to get political on these things okay so at the end of all this I, I, I know what to do now There you go. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share for all your friends that have an Emil J. Patter barber chair. I'd be glad to do it for you. Well, after I get paid. I am so, I am so happy with that. All right, good night. Thanks for watching. Talk to you next time. Guess I better get the Gojo out, huh? I just realized something. <laughs> something even more beautiful than... than I, I didn't quite understand what this thing was doing. Now I know. <laughs> oh, let, let, me, let me just show you. Let, let me just show you what I'm talking about here. 
uh, let's let's get a, let's get some paper. Let's let, let's see if I'm right about this thing. This cannot be true. Let me take my little booklet with me. Uh, <laughs> I just got it. Now, the way they did it, <laughs> there was a roll right here that apparently rolled in this direction. So what the paper did was come up in this slit right here. That's what this does. That's a break. I couldn't quite figure out how they did it. That's a break. So if the paper... It may not work very well, but I, I can I, I get it now. So the papers the papers on the little roll. I know it's going to be a little long. So the papers rolled up on this thing. Um, let me let me just do that thing. Oh whatever, just pretend it's rolled up there. So you're not going to hide your name. And so the paper goes up through here and you would let off on this and pull the paper up and put over like that. Okay, and that's just a little break. And I, as I remember, that paper was much thicker than this. Uh, it was almost like linen, uh, not like Vladimir linen. And not like marks, like Karl Marx or Groucho Marx or any of those other things. But the paper came through here. Unbelievably, unbelievably elegant. And that's the way that would work. And so you, you pull off on your little thumb thing here and pull your paper through and it was rolled up. Don't think you're smart, okay? Because I am, I am not smart. But I couldn't figure out. I didn't think the paper came up around. I didn't know exactly. But it comes up through this little slit right here. Unbelievably elegant. Ugh. Now, you're talking to a guy who is... I deal with machinery that's two, three hundred years old. And, you know, these old cars... And all the every we we are we we build on the shoulders of those that came before us, and there is an example of that. Unbelievably beautiful. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to have to make some way to make this happen. I don't see a way of locking it underneath. Uh, you know, it comes off the roller, comes up through here, comes around there, sanitary. And then uh, I guess they just kind of like tucked it under there or something. You know, just, you know, they, they just sort of took the paper and came across and just went back up in there, you know, like that. Makes sense to me. Hmm. Amazing. Absolutely, totally amazing.